Hello and Namaste. My name is Somdeep De. I'm a research scientist on the topic of embedded artificial intelligence in mobile platforms. Thank you for allowing me to be with you today and share my experience and knowledge on artificial intelligence and bust some myths and misconceptions related to the topic. Last year, I used to go for bachata dancing lessons and it was one of the ways I socialized. So when I used to meet someone new, I would introduce myself and mention that I am an on-device embedded artificial intelligence scientist, which basically means that I design and implement artificial intelligence or AI in short in embedded or mobile platforms. One evening, one of the new acquaintances during the Pachata session made a comment. So, you design AI like Skynet from the movie Terminator? Isn't that bad for humanity? Aren't AI taking our jobs now? And possibly lead to a, an extension level? Well, I was flabbergasted. I wasn't sure how to respond to that immediately. So I paused for a minute and shared a story. A story of a middle-class family in India. The family consisted of a couple who were both artists and barely making enough to live by the day. The couple was blessed with a son and both the husband and wife started to work to provide the best to their son, to their family. Now the husband and wife were not fortunate enough to pursue higher education in the university and their dream was to get their son the best of education so that he doesn't have to face the financial troubles that the couple went through. Both the husband and wife worked day and night and provided the best of education that the son could get in India. The son went to pursue a bachelor's degree in computer science in one of the top colleges in India, the first in the family to ever achieve so. After graduating with a first class honors degree, the son went on to pursue a master's degree, this time in a foreign country. Till the age of 22, the son never saw his father rest a day. And when the father is asked by the son, why are you working so hard? The father replied, I am just waiting for you to complete studies, get a job, then get married, and then I can finally retire and go out to travel the world with your mother without carrying my work with me. Unfortunately, when the son was studying his master's degree, his parents went through a horrific car accident, which caused severe injuries to his mother and paralyzed his father. The son somehow completed his postgraduate study and went to work in the industry to financially provide for his family. Yes. This story is about my family. Till this date, the sacrifices made by my parents weigh heavy on my shoulder. After my father was paralyzed, doctors in India gave him only a few months to live. But my father wouldn't give up mentally, nor my mother would give her side up by my father to fight through this. Back in 2014, when the accident happened, medicine and technology in India weren't that advanced. And doctors couldn't help my father anyway to enable him to walk again because of his spinal cord injury. In my mind, all I could think of is 
that my father was not able to achieve his dream of retiring and traveling the world with my mother as he wanted to. Four years later, one day I woke up and couldn't bear the thought that I could do something about it instead of just waiting for someone else to invent the technology to help my father and thousands of other paralyzed patients with spinal cord injury around the world. So I gave up my job as a software engineer and went to pursue a PhD in designing and implementing AI in embedded systems at the University of Essex. This could help me in developing intelligent robotic exoskeleton to help people like my father to walk again, to help my father walk again. Today at the University of Essex, a group of scientists are developing AI-based robotic hand exoskeleton to rehabilitate stroke patients. Every time when someone says that AI is taking our jobs or it is there to destroy humanity, I always share this story and tell it to them that AI is in fact helping us to achieve our better selves. There are so many more examples where AI is a helping hand rather than a destructive one. For example, to detect skin cancer based on images, a doctor can accurately detect such a case with the naked eyes almost 60% of the time. Using a dermoscopy, such cases can be detected with almost 80% accuracy. Whereas an AI-based agent can detect such cases with 92.5% accuracy. However, when you combine the efforts of human doctor and an AI agent together, skin cancer can be detected with 99.5% accuracy. Hence, making skin cancer detection and treatment much more effective. Therefore, AI is enabling us to achieve superhuman capabilities, which are ultimately saving lives. Another case of AI helping us through the COVID-19 pandemic, where AI-based agents help radiologists to detect COVID-19 cases from CT scan images of patients' lungs. This helped improve the time to detect positive COVID-19 cases and save more lives in the process. Now, most probably when you seek technical or customer support for your favorite product and services, you might be talking to a AI chatbot without even knowing it. This helps us to get faster support and also give you a better customer experience except the times when the chatbot can't understand your accent. Well, it happens with me a lot of time, but it's still a work in progress. That being said, AI is still in its infancy stage when it comes to applications. Many people are afraid of the fact that what if AI is able to create as we do? Will AI create machines to destroy us? To be honest, to destroy AI, to develop AI which is able to achieve such level of learning and reasoning, it would actually require cross-domain learning and reasoning like we do. For example, when we meet another person, we try to understand the other person's personality, character, not just by looking at them, but by interacting with them through smell and observing their body language as well. So we are using multiple types of learning and reasoning systems to understand this person when we meet them. 
and we are still at least 20 to 40 years away from developing an AI which is capable of such high level of learning and reasoning on its own. People might be worried about terminators, but the reality is at the moment we are developing AI based social robots which are helping humans to reduce depression and improve happiness. Without even realizing how AI agents are helping us, they are improving our lives every second. AI agents are now also able to help you prolong the battery life of your smartphone even more by learning your mobile usage habits so that you can enjoy your Netflix or favorite games for longer period of time. AI agents are also helping you to reduce food waste by learning your food buying and wasting habits such that it can help you to make much more informed decision on what food products to buy the next time. These are only some of the examples by which AI has played a positive role in our society so far. But with any technology, it depends on the user, how we are using it, whether for good or for bad. Just like when the technology revolving nuclear reaction was developed, some used it to power cities, whereas some used it to destroy cities. The same way AI has recently been used to hack into systems and also been used to generate porn images of any given person. But it is not AI's fault. It is upon us and how we are using this powerful technology in our society. For every poor use of AI, we have much more cases where AI is helping patients like my father to get back on their feet. So give it a chance. Be more acceptable of this powerful technology because if we don't, then we might be doing injustice to the people whose lives could be improved using AI. Now that being said, I will leave you with one last question to ask yourself. Are we developing AI to support humanity in the future? Thank you for listening.